today we are going to be talking about fonts. Fonts are an incredibly powerful way to communicate your brand's values visually. So the first thing we need to talk about are the different types of fonts such as serif, sans serif, script, and novelty fonts. Now there's a lot more different uh, categories of fonts out there, but these are kind of just the basics. And in fact, there are entire classes, uh, degrees, and professions that deal specifically with fonts and typography. So if this kind of stuff really um, makes you excited, you might want to look into that. Okay, so first we're going to look at serif. Serif fonts has lines on the edges of the letters. The areas, the areas that are circled are serifs. So these are literally serifs. That is what they are called. All these little extra lines on the edges. This makes it easier to read long passages of text and is most often used for printed materials. Look at pretty much any book that you have and look at the parts where there's long chapters. There is going to be a serif font being used. Now these are associated with the more traditional look, which makes sense. We used to only have information in books and now we have computers. So it has a traditional look because we're used to seeing them in books all the time. Now sans serif are fonts that don't have lines on the edges of the letters. Sans literally means without. So if serif are these little um, lines that are sticking out and sans means without, it means without lines. And you can see here, there aren't these little lines sticking out on the edges. These fonts are easier to read on computer screens and were basically started to come out about the time the computers were coming out for that reason. And because of this, they are associated with a more modern look. All right, next let's look at a couple of other types of fonts. We have script, which is inspired by handwriting. Sometimes these can be difficult to read, as you can see right here. Used for a few words, but definitely not for long passages of text or important information. Novelty fonts. Um, these fonts, there are no real rules here. There are all kinds of different type of novelty fonts. These fonts can be really fun, but they come and go often. So what feels trendy today can look outdated in just a few years. These fonts can be fun for short-term designs, like for an event. And when I use this one for like for an event, it kind of has that Greek look. So if you were having a Greek party, this would be a great font for it. Okay, um, but you should steer clear of these for long-term branding like logos. As you can see above, there are practical reasons to use or not use some types of fonts. Okay, so check out this article on what fonts were used to design famous logos by BoardPanda.com. I bet you're going to be surprised at how many follow the guidelines stated in the graphic above. Okay, so what about the psychology of fonts? Do some make us feel or think differently? And how is that used in marketing and design? How can you use this in your social media design to attract your primary audience? Study the infographic below from Crazy Egg. So let's take a look. The psychology behind type choices. Each font type you use for your business evokes different emotions. Get the emotions you want people to feel when you select the right logo font. So here we have a serif again, which has, here's the little serifs. And again, we have tradition. And what's pretty cool about this little chart is it also has the fonts that they use. So for this one, tradition, they use Times New Roman, Respectable, Trajan, Reliable, Baskerville, Comfort, Georgia Italic. Now for you um, Game of Thrones fans out there, you might recognize this one. This is uh, Trajan is the Game of Thrones font. It's been one of my favorite fonts for a long time, even before Game of Thrones, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, sans serif. So without serifs, we have stability, Helvetica bold, and you'll be surprised at how much Helvetica actually gets used. <laughs> it's everywhere. Once you start looking at fonts, you'll realize which ones get used more often than not and why. All right. We have some more examples here. Let's keep moving on. And of course, feel free to come back to this chart once you're done with this video and study it more strongly. We have script, so we have elegance, affectionate, creativity, display, we have friendly, expressive, 
modern, strong, progressive, stylish. Okay, so now that you've gotten an introduction to font psychology, take a moment to read this fascinating article on the same subject, The Definition of Font Psychology and How to Use It by Canva.com. I guarantee it's going to give you some insight into picking a font for your brand. Okay, so next study this infographic from designmantic.com. It will be important for the class activity. These are even more types of fonts. We had already covered some of these, such as sans serif and serif, but now we are getting introduced to a whole bunch of other ones. And if you look to the side here, we have some of the psychology that goes along with um, the types of fonts when you use them. So, I'm going to encourage you to come back to this and study it a little bit more deeply in just a moment because now it's time to think of your brand and what you want to say with your font. So remember that list of qualities you made for the chapter one discussion on branding? Okay, it's time to revisit that list. Then you're going to go to canva.com or whatever design software app you like to use and find fonts that express those main two to four qualities. I want you to create a file that lists the different words using those fonts. So here's an example. Now I did play with the effects and design a little bit, which isn't required. You can just have a white um, blank JPEG with black fonts on it that, that will fulfill the assignment. But you know, if we're playing with graphic design, might as well have some fun. So here's some words and some fonts that I matched up. I've got adventurous, professional, fun, industry leader. So like I said, go back and look at those qualities. Go back and look at these different types of fonts and maybe some of the qualities are going to be in here that you chose. Try to match them up and then go and find some fonts that express that. So what you need to turn in is one JPEG file, and then I want you to respond to two classmates' posts stating whether you think the fonts match their words or not. All right, guys, go have fun with this.